way to the Carpathians, we saw that there was a 700-year-old wooden church, which you can see behind me, called St. George's, and thought, well, win in Drohobich. Check out a cool church. The first thing I noticed walking into St. George's is how different it looks from every other church I've seen so far in Ukraine. We quickly established that the church keeper and tour guide spoke zero English. Luckily, those other visitors you just saw did speak a touch, so we were able to gather some interesting tidbits about this cool old place. The first tidbit is that the paintings on these wooden walls are almost all original, meaning they're almost as old as the church is. The next tidbit is that the key to the front door of this place is about to bring me a bit of luck. All right, in Ukraine, if a key is older than 100 years old, you can hold it and make a wish. I'm gonna take advantage in this old wooden church. This is 600 years old, so it definitely counts. Here we go. Done. I won't tell you, because then it won't come true. The after you. It was time to visit the second floor, getting up there in a way that I was not expecting. Going to the second floor. The second floor had my absolute favorite part of the whole church. In one of the paintings where Jesus is pre-gaming for the Last Supper, there are two women making Ukrainian dumplings in the background. Amazing. Then came the most treacherous part of the visit, getting back down. This church is great. I've seen a lot of them, a lot of monasteries. It's all like maxed out, it's huge. And it's, it's, it's ornate and gold. This is just a simple wooden church with some paintings on the inside. And it's gorgeous and it feels real and lived in. And I thoroughly enjoy this, a uh, truly unique experience. St. George's Church, loved it. All right, one last thing. Where else would they allow you to climb a ladder to go up to the second part of the church? Nowhere. <laughs>